In this video, we're gonna be doing a Kmart challenge. Let's go. We're gonna be spending $20 all together for a complete rod reel combo with line already spooled because I know a lot of people want to know if you could catch fish and especially good fish using cheap gear. And that's what we're gonna do tonight once we go pick a rod right off the rack. All right, guys, I've had a look at the gear here. Probably two rods I'm choosing between. This is the first one. This white one over here. I don't know how much it costs. It just says, what, 550 here for a knife sharpener. I doubt that's how much this costs. So we'll check this on the scanner. And the second one, let me put this down. Because I've only got one hand. One of these big bad boys here. This is a much bigger combo. So we'll check these two. Scanner's just 12 o'clock ahead. Should be in the budget. What? 55 bucks. Bruh. My gosh. All right, that's outside the budget, fellas. We're trying to do a cheap video here. We're not trying to buy expensive gear. What about this one? 20 bucks. All right, looks like Perfect. our choice is locked in. Hit the thumbs up. We're getting this now. Time to make a run for it. Via the checkout, of course. You bet I am. I'm going fishing. All right, so I've just picked up the rod. Here we go. Let's go fishing with this. Bait fishing this time. Next stop, we need to gather bait. And for that, I need to head to a ferry wharf. So I've just driven down to a wharf, trying to catch some bait now. Doing it the lazy man style. I tried lures. <sighs> but now it's time for the baits. How am I doing this rig? Drop a sinker, short bit of line to a hook. So this is a Paternoster rig. This is a really small, small size one hook. And so I've cut up some pilchers right over here. We're gonna put little slithers like these guys on. Or oh, actually, let's choose a better slice, something like that. I had to move to a few places in search of bait, but after a few hours, I had collected enough. But just before I show you what I caught, I definitely had to sift through some bycatch. You know, like this flathead here. Thank you. Hey guys, I, just caught, I was just trying to catch yakas and I caught a big whitey. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Whitey, whitey. You that big whitey. Big whitey, yeah. yeah. He's unlucky or are you are very lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing back. We don't want him. Look at that. Probably like mid mid thirties at least. We'll send it back. With the baits in the bucket, it was now time to use the twenty dollar Kmart combo. Radio guys, this is it. Next destination. Let me show you what I did earlier. I caught some liveies. I've got the light on so now you can see inside the live bait tank here zip zip unzip so i picked up these three yakas earlier at the wharf and actually funny story because i actually caught a big whiting so yeah that was pretty funny i drew a crowd there at the wharf but see these two big ones sitting near the bottom cruising we'll definitely strip them up which we're going to slice up and then send it out and hopefully we don't lose our bait to the ferry there which would be a complete disaster after all the effort that I put into this. Jeez, I'm gonna get seasick on this. What's going on? It's gone crazy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I'm, only, I'm only joking, guys. I got good, good sea legs or warp legs, as they say. I don't believe I've even shown you what rod this is yet. This is obviously Jarvis Walker. So, just so you know, Jarvis Walker Focus 8 foot general purpose rod very strong very thick look at that three to seven kegs probably a good one for a big fish you reckon all right i'm just rigging it chuck the two pieces together spooled with mono pulling it through the guides feels pretty pretty hefty pretty strong i'm gonna put on a sinker and a hook now i've got a star sinker to a little bead then to a little swivel then i'm gonna tie some eight pound leader just a short trace all right can you believe it? I forgot to explain that I actually brought a big calamari squid here too. It's all very inky. What do you reckon? 
We'll strip that up. All right, we've rigged up the rod now. Got a bit of squid. Swing around in the wind, here we go. That's it, a little bit of strip. Let's send it out. There we go. Now I've just got to watch out for fairies going by. With the Kmart rod set, I set up a second rod as well. Just because it didn't really make sense to just watch one rod all night. At least with two rods, we might get more action. So now that we're going with two rods, one of them has a squid as the bait, and the other one, I decided to go with the Yakka strip. There's something on here. There's something on here. Let's go. Came out $20. $20 rod. I don't even know if I'm filming. Yes, I am. Good thing. Luckily, I was just. Ladies and gents, I was just rigging up my rod on this little head shakes. It's always a good sign to, to know that it's a living thing. Oh. Not a bad fish. Not a bad Brembo. Look at that. Not bad. No net. Bro, you got everything except the net. Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Nice brim. What do you reckon? Not bad. There we go. Jarvis Walker. $20 brim. That's what $20 could do for you. Look at that yakka there. Ooh. Smells fresh. Breath smells bad. Just like last night's fish. All right, guys. Put your guesses in the comments. I'm going to go get the tape. All right, ladies and gents, I want to get a measure on this, but... We got 30, 35 right there. That's a 35 centimeter brim. Did anyone get that 35 centimeters? All right, there we go. We've kicked off the challenge. I don't know what I was thinking when I put my hand in the water. Because, you know, a bull shark could just come up and take my hand. All right, let's go set it up again. And plus, we got squid out here too, so we might get... I don't want to call it. We might get something. Something good. And you know I'm not making it up because I just turned on my camera. <laughs> so that was definitely a bite. I would not have turned it on otherwise. That was enough to get me excited. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yes, yes. I'm gonna wait for it to take. I've got a big bait. There's like no real need to strike it. And rip its head off unless I know for sure. Bait. The bin. I think that might be a fish playing with it. That's not the wind, because if it was a wind, it would have been doing this all night, but it's not. Yeah, it's definitely a fish. Now, the question is what is it, and is it gonna get hooked onto the hook? It's hard to say, these bites look a bit different to the first series of bites yeah. about 10 minutes ago. I don't think the fish could make the tank jump. I don't think so. Yep. Ooh. Almost stuffed up because I just need to get that camera on over there. My GoPro isn't running out of batteries. So I just picked up my squid. What do you reckon? I might be a jury, eh? I wonder what it is. Oh, it's already in here. Oh, yeah. There you go, it is. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I don't know how he's hooked. That's why I didn't want to risk him. Easy. Again. Oh, he's come off. Oh, oh it's my bad. That's all right. We'll try again. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. I know, I know. I should have brought a net. All right, I know this is going to happen, ladies and gents. We just lost one there. I reckon it was about 45, 50 centimeters. It wasn't big, but I was just trying to get my phone sorted. And then, yeah, I didn't have a net. My bad. 
terrible. Yeah, so I waited and I waited, but nothing else happened for the rest of the night. All right, ladies and gents, we're back again on another night with the Kmart rod. As I always kick down my light, um, there it is. But what we're gonna do is, we're also gonna throw out some of this Angel Gate Lun Squid. And we're gonna do that right now on that rod because I know that's what you guys want me to do. And I need to make up for that lost jewelry, of course. I know technically not part of the Jarvis Walk Challenge, but hey, two rods better than one. I don't wanna check. Whoa! That was a bite. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Yes! We're on, we're on, we're on whatever this rod is. This is the squid. Here we go. Here we go. I don't want to stop it now. Come on, Shrew, do this. Let's do this. Bring it in. I didn't bring a net. That's not good. I brought everything but a net. Are you serious? No net. Alright, well, this will have to do. Red light, come on, man, that's not what I want. Mean. Good tension while I turn on the. What is that? Oh, bro. Where's it coming in sideways? Oh, bro! No way, that's a Jewy. It's a little Jewy. It's a little mile away. A little mile away here. I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose it. I want to lift him out. He's not big, he's small, but uh, hey. Yes! Woo. There we go. Not on the wrong rod, though. On the wrong rod, ladies and gents. My KMI challenge hasn't kicked off, but the little squid picked up a little soapy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright, ladies and gents, look at that. I got lucky with this little hook up in the corner here. Um, I am alone tonight, so very hard to fish and film. There we go, ladies and gents. Let's step into the light. Let's give it the old sniff test. The way Shroom does it. Oh, smells like uh, this guy needs to brush his teeth. <laughs> All right, see, oh, look at that. He's got that little red thing there. That looks like the thing they have on brim sometimes. It's that diseased skin. From para. No GRS in sight, <sighs> but $20 Kmart challenge completed, even though the fish came on my regular rod. Do I need to run it back? Let me know. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Watch this next video playing if you want to see me cook up some of these fish for a catch and cook. With a little less plastic.